Okay, so question 16 is another one of these starred questions, so make sure that your written communication is absolutely spot on to get full marks here. S and T are points on the circumference of a circle with center O. PT is a tangent. That word is very important in this particular question. It's a tangent to the circle. And it says SOP is a straight line. The angle OPT is 32 degrees, and we're asked to work out the size of the angle marked X and give reasons for our answer. So, diving straight in here, um, we're at question 16, we're coming towards the end of the paper, so we're getting in tricky territory. It's a circle in the, in, in the diagram, so this is a circle theorem question. And I always tell my students when, when I see the word tangent, and we're dealing with circle theorems questions. Well, this is our tangent here. Let's just highlight it. So here's our tangent that they're talking about in the question. And the tangent and the radius in the circle always form a right angle. So make sure that you mark on the diagram straight away that right angle. And let's write that reason. So we know O, T, and T, P form a right angle. Um, the reason that is, is the tangent, tangent, and the radius form a right angle. So that's the first piece of information and that's our first mark. Now, hopefully you can see as well, let's see what we can do here. We got O, T and P forming a triangle. I've got two of the angles in it. Let's get this other angle here. So the angle T, O, P, so the angle TOP, which is the red angle I've marked here, is going to be found by doing 180 degrees, subtract the sum of the other two angles. So we got the 90 degrees and the 32 degrees. And when we work that out, we're going to get an answer of 58 degrees. So let's mark that on our diagram. This angle here is 58 degrees. Now the reason here, fairly straightforward, is that the angles in triangle adds to 180 or sum up to 180. So that's okay. There's more, th more information I can fill in the diagram. I can now work out this blue angle here, which is, I'm going to call the angle SOT. So SOT is going to be found by doing 180 degrees, subtract 58. Now, how do I know I can do that? The blue angle here, which I've marked, and the red angle here are both sitting on that straight line. They're going to have to add up to 180 degrees. And when we do that, we're going to get an answer of 120 two degrees. The reason is angles on a straight line add to 180. And let's see what else we can work out now. We know that this is going to be 122 degrees. There's one other thing that we may not have noticed immediately, but there is more information in the diagram. And it's actually that this triangle here, which I'm going to circle, I'm going to highlight in blue. So this triangle here, which I'll highlight in blue, this, this, and this. It's unfortunate that the, we can't highlight over that green, but hopefully you get the idea. So we're talking about that triangle there is actually an isosceles triangle. Now, how do I know that? 
OT is a radius, so it has a particular length, but also OS is a radius, which means that those two sides in the triangle are the exact same. A triangle with two sides that are the same must be isosceles, which means this angle here must also be the same as X, because the base angles in an isosceles triangle are equal. So let's work out X. What are we going to do? We're going to do 180 degrees because that's the total number of degrees in a triangle we're going to subtract the 122 that we know from here which we should already know is 58 degrees and then what we're going to do is we're going to divide that by 2 so 58 degrees divided by 2 because these guys are exactly the same is going to equal 29 degrees how did I know that? The base angles in an isosceles triangle are equal. Isosceles triangle are equal. Now, we've probably written more than we need to get full marks there for five, but let, let's be absolutely certain that we can explain how we know um, how we know angles have particular values. Okay, so use all the facts, all your knowledge, to um, to impress the examiner and make sure that you get all those communication marks.